Hi, I'm Brian Trenchard-Smith. Welcome to Trailers from Hell and a remarkable World War II movie, The Train. Shooting commenced in 1964 under Arthur Penn, who was less interested in how the train was stopped than exploring motivations of men prepared to die for art. The star, Burt Lancaster, whose previous movies The Leopard and The Sweet Smell of Success had failed at the US box office, wanted more action to ensure a hit. He fired Arthur Penn and replaced him with John Frankenheimer, his director on Birdman of Alcatraz, which earned him an Oscar nomination. Penn survived the humiliation, going on to a long career of such iconic hits as Bonnie and Clyde and Little Big Man, two of my favourites. Under Frankenheimer's baton, the budget doubled and the movie firmly established his eye for action. This is one of my Frankenheimer favourites. The train is loosely based on true events in which the French resistance stopped a trainload of looted art treasures the Nazis were trying to take out of Paris on August 1, 1944, as the Allies advanced. In contrast to the action-packed drama depicted in the movie, the true story has a certain irony. The French resistance stopped the train not with explosives, but with bureaucracy. A deluge of paperwork and red tape, so the train got no further than a rail yard a few miles out of Paris, where it was recovered by free French forces when Paris fell to the Allies. But let's face it, that movie would have been far less fun. Lancaster, as resistance hero Labiche, drives the movie with a well-etched performance, initially believing that paintings are not worth dying for. They cursed it. The hell with London. We started this whole thing for one reason, to stop the train because the Allies were going to be here. Well, where are they? Every day they've been doomed. And every day a man has been killed for thinking they were just over the next hill. I say to hell with it. Now they want us to paint the train? Let them blow it up! Nazi reprisals against the resistance soon changes his mind. French star Jeanne Moreau delivers a nice turn as an acerbic war widow. Their tears. Why did you come back here? You want everyone killed? Men are such fools. There's a hint of romance with Lancaster's character, but it never becomes cliched. The delay in production meant that other noted French actors, Michel Simon and Jacques Marin, had prior contractual commitments and would be unable to complete their scenes. Frankenheimer simply had those characters unexpectedly executed by the Nazis and their remaining functions distributed to other actors. His early experience as a live TV drama director taught him how to think on his feet. Have you thought of that? Who are you going to get to help you? Me. I can't fight. That's two of us. Small army. Another notable French actor featured is Suzanne Flon, who was once personal assistant to legendary singer Edith Piaf before a stage and screen career that spanned 64 years. Bert Lancaster, as was his custom, did all his own stunts. In one unbroken shot, he slides down a ladder, races beside the tracks, and boards a moving train. You dumb, you old goat! Get out of there and get under cover! Get off my train! You dumb fool, they'll be ready to fire any second! Get off my train! Lancaster began his career as a gymnast and circus acrobat. You can't get through, the switch is closed! Open it! The Allied bombing of a rail yard was accomplished with real dynamite because the French Rail Authority needed to enlarge the track gauge, but couldn't afford the cost of demolition, Frankenheimer was happy to oblige. The only injury Lancaster sustained came from stepping into a hole on a Paris golf course. He sprained his knee and could not walk without a noticeable limp. So Frankenheimer created a new scene where Lancaster was shot in the leg. Acclaimed British stage actor Paul Schofield gives Lancaster a worthy adversary as the obsessed Nazi colonel. The train was the last big-budget Hollywood action picture to be shot in black and white, and it works very well for the subject matter, giving it an authentic war newsreel quality, into which veteran French camera team Jean Ternier and Frank Wartitz blend some classic Frankenheimer sustained tracking shots in deep focus wide angle. The movie still holds up today. Now enjoy a few moments of Maurice Jarre's magnificent score.
it will carry you to the peak of adventure.